from Puebla. Greg and I just got to the city. We've only been in an Uber for a little bit. We have partnered with Hotel Palacio San Leonardo this week and we've checked out our room. It's nice so far. More shots of the hotel coming soon but we're about to step out for the first time. If it's your first time here, I'm Greg, or Greg the Gringo, or I'm, Goyo. <laughs> I'm Hillary Olueta, oh Hillary. And we live in La Ciudad de Mexico. We make videos uh, basically showing Mexico through the eyes of two gringos and attempting to show a side of Mexico that you may not see every day on the news. Now, we're in the Socolo aquí in Puebla. We and, just got here. And most of today's video will be in Centro Historico, so I know going to be many of you telling us or suggesting places we should go outside of Centro Sordica. We're on a time crunch today, but I think we're going to be, see, be able to see quite a lot. We'll keep walking and uh, soak this place in and give you our first thoughts so far. Wow. Got around the perimeter of the Zoclo, and that is our only experience here in Puebla. And this area is unique and different from other Zoclos that we've been to because it's like a huge courtyard. It's like the Zoclo is situated, and surrounding the entire thing are restaurants and shopping with lots of like outside seating, and the places are packed. So I have a feeling that uh, the food at these places must be pretty good. <laughs> in terms of the actual Zoclo, again, very different from the one in Mexico City and that there's tons and tons of shade and places to sit and hang out. So the, the Zocalo area reminds me a little bit of the center of Coyacan. I think because uh, there are yeah. big balloons for sale. <laughs> Coyacan, a uh, little bit of Querétaro. Yeah, just a little bit of like uh, everywhere that's shaded. Uh, we're about to go see the church, but I do think what makes the Zocalo uh, unique to me so far is that it is surrounded by uh, several story buildings, which seems really cool. We're about to go walk into what is supposed to be considered one of the uh, best churches in all of Mexico. A few fun facts about Puebla. It is the fourth largest city in all of Mexico. It is was designated a World Heritage Site in the 90s. About and what, 3 million people, right? About 3 million people live here. It was uh, founded in 1531, so pretty old compared to Tallulah. Pretty new and modern. Like a small city, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Wow, amigos, that was impressive. Uh, we were asked to not take any more photos or videos, so we weren't able to give you too many clips, but it really reminded me a lot of the church uh, in Mexico City, in downtown. Uh, I think this one is a little bit more ornate though, and it was built around the same time period, so it makes sense that I, it reminds me of it. Uh, it was built in the early 1500s. Very incredible. What, uh, any thoughts? Any? Yeah, I like that it had a lot of color up at the top. It had several different like domes uh, with some beautiful blue tiles, but I think even approaching the church from the outside, it reminds me a lot of the Metropolitan Cathedral in the Zoclo in Mexico City because just the sheer space, it's a grand yes. entrance when there's nothing in sight for maybe 20 yards, exactly. meters. And I can I can definitely see why uh, it can be considered one of the best churches in Mexico because it's it has the size of the size of the, the cathedral in Mexico City with the ornateness and decoration of of some of the churches we saw in Querétaro yeah. and in San Miguel de Allende. Incredible. Let's keep walking.
we are about to go in the uh, Iglesia de Santo Domingo, another church built in the 15th, 1500s, 16th century. That can get confusing. We just got off of the walking street of Cinco de Mayo. That's what we call streets that are pedestrian only walking streets. Extremely cool, lined with restaurants, name brand places, off brand places, and everything in between. It seems like a lot of the places on top are like, to me they look French. I don't know. I don't know why I think they look French. I could be wrong. It just seems like with the balconies and, and architecture and design, my limited knowledge of architecture looks French, but let's head in this church. What do you say? Almost. Extremely pretty in there, amigos. Very different than the other church, uh, more uh, near the Zocalo. But one thing I talked to, uh, me and Hillary talked about was how crazy, like these churches are incredibly impressive in 2018. Can you imagine going to these churches in the 16th century? It's just really unbelievable. Okay, we are walking the streets of Pueblo with Chips, Sin, Sin Valentina. I don't know what's wrong with you today. I don't know what's wrong with me today either, but... We just lost, lost points from all of feeling our, spicy. <laughs> all the Poblanos that are just now watching. Sorry. <laughs> I usually like Valentina. Black label. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell us, like, what your thoughts are as we're walking around the city. Like, how would you describe it? What's it feel like? What's it remind you of? It feels similar similar huh. not the same to mexico city in that the store some of the stores the chain stores we've seen the streets are really really busy i know today is a holiday yeah so i'm not sure if the city is more busy today or if this is just um a normal monday it is pretty pretty packed though yeah it's uh it reminds me of centro historico a little mm, bit I see that Mexico. People. yeah it has a different feel like the older buildings to it have a different feel to it I don't know, how would you say is it? They do, the buildings are colorful, tiled, and they don't look like they're Mexican, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I think they definitely, like you can see, I think like some of these buildings right here are a perfect example. I mean, this style does exist in Mexico City, but it definitely has its own a style of its own. Okay, amigos, I think that is uh, that is all we have today for our, our Puebla adventure, but don't worry, we have several, several more days Several more days here, so I know there's a ton we missed. Comment below, let us know what we have to do yes. in Puebla, and I have a feeling, similar to Mexico City, exploring Centro Historico de Puebla is just barely scratching the surface of really what this city has to offer. Um, yeah, I love how lively this area is. I said that it reminds me almost of Centro Historico in Mexico City because of the people. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's very like energetic. It's full of lots energy. Lots of shopping, uh, lots of colors. As you can see, this street is, is full of colors. The architecture here is incredible. But there's one thing we have to try when we're in Puebla. I think Puebla is known for its history, its culture, its people. But more than anything, it's food. So we've got to try some mole, some meat. Yeah, we passed several places with churros. Churros reinos calientitos, it's not deliciositos. Any good city is it churros? <laughs> Let's uh, be honest. Yeah, let us know what what uh, <laughs> comida poblana que, <laughs> that we have to try. Yeah. And um, That's it. first impressions are the city very very interesting, and I think uh, we've got a lot to learn. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. That way you can see the rest of our Adventuras Poblanas. Y Click the bell, that way you get notified. Every time we open a video. And we'll see you. Mañana. Adios, amiguitos. Bye bye.
Side note, I asked to not offend uh, any of our poblanos, amigos poblanos, or just anybody in general. Well, of course we make a lot of comparisons. This seems like this, this feels like this, and that's really the only way we can we can try and draw comparisons for ourselves and for any of you who've, who have visited those places and or seen our videos of those places. Um, but I mean, this why don't we why don't we say it's it's similar to Mexico City? It's it is and is it? But we need your help. Comment below and let us know what are the to you what are the distinguishing factors between Puebla and other cities in Mexico or Puebla and La Ciudad de Mexico and. Uh, yeah, what makes it what makes it different? What makes it better? What makes uh, what makes it stand out more? Your information. We learn from you more than you learn from us. Help us out. Appreciate it. Gracias. Adios.